Protesters in Peru are calling for early elections. It's an idea being proposed by President Martin Vizcarra. He wants to end his term early and take all of Congress with him. CGTN's Dan Collins explains why from Lima. March is chant. Que se vayan todos. All of them must go. Peru's elected representatives in Congress have never been especially popular, but their approval rating now is reaching an all-time low. Opinion polls indicate three-quarters of Peruvians would prefer that they all go and elections are called a year early. We want all the politicians who are in the Congress to go home because they're not doing anything for the country. Struggling to get anti-corruption legislation approved, Peru's popular president, Martin Vizcarra, set out a plan for early elections. The region where presidents often try to hold on to power for as long as they can, the Scarra's offer to step down early and take a deeply unpopular Congress with him is an unusual move. But as this march seems to show, there's no shortage of popular support for his proposal. At the end of last year, Peruvians voted overwhelmingly in a nationwide referendum in support of anti-corruption reforms and to lift parliamentary immunity from prosecution. But an obstructive, opposition-dominated Congress has dragged its feet in approving the cleanup measures. What they have shown is that they're more interested in defending their own often criminal and corrupt interests than the important interests of the country. And for that reason, it is fundamental that the politics in Congress can be renewed with early elections. In a national address on Peru's Independence Day, President Vizcarra said it would be better for the country if he cut his own term short by a year and early presidential and legislative elections were held in 2020. Peru is crying out for a new beginning. Peruvians should be able to choose their destiny to usher in bicentennial Peru. With this action, the foundations of the republic will be strengthened, even though it means we will all have to go. With three former presidents under investigation for alleged corruption, Many Peruvians see Vizcarra's move as a noble sacrifice. But it may not be easy, as the proposal first needs to succeed a vote in Congress. Only if approved there will it go to a referendum where Peruvians, like these, are near certain to back it. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.